Well, hey crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming and on this video tutorial we are going to make an adorable little funky mushroom and fall leaves, fall banner in some kind of 1970-ish colors. Um, it should be really cute. This would be fun to put on your mantle, to put on a buffet, to put over a door, put it on a big mirror. Um, and you can take the ideas here to do a whole bunch of other things, which I will give you a little preview of what another craft will be later in the day. Here's a quick peek. <gasps> it's going to be adorable. Anyways, as you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know where you're watching from. Feel free to sprinkle all the normal good stuff. And let's just jump right in. Okay, so we're going to make a little banner because I love making banners. It's like, what honestly, one of my favorite things. Um, this costs almost nothing. It's practically free. And um, I'm gonna show you what is involved here. Well, the first thing that is involved is one of my favorite things to craft with. This is canvas duck fabric. And this is what I use to make stuffies. This particular canvas duck I just purchased in a craft store in Meridian, Idaho last week while I was there uh, visiting my mom. It's super heavy, thick, and it's great to work with. So that's one thing. And then it's also going to involve this adorable brand new stencil that just released today. If you're watching live, today is Wednesday, August 23rd, 2023. So this stencil just released today. It's also going to involve the bottom half of this one. Did I not turn my camera? Uh, I don't know. Is everything backwards? I think it is. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay. So it's going to, this is, um, this is called Welcome Fall. It just released today as well. And I used this stencil set to make this adorable door hanger while I was at the Magnolia Celebration in Charlotte. Uh, let's see, let's set that aside. Um, but you don't have to use both pieces. I used this for some of the flags. Um, it's going to involve ink in these three colors. This one is called Mango Mojito. This one is Pumpkin. And this one is Magnolia Green. And some twine. And this is my favorite twine, which I will have a supply list when I'm all finished. So let me know if you would like that, if you would like my supply list. Um, so this is called Natural Polished Hemp. I get this at Walmart in the crafting department, but by jewelry. It's great because it is polished and that makes it easier to get uh, beads and stuff on it if you want to use it with beads. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I am going to take one of these cute little mushroom stencils, which I broke the law. I cut them apart. It's really not illegal. You can do whatever you want with your stencils. It is a little easier to use them if they are separated. So I took um, a stencil and I'm just going to cut this apart so it will be easier to manage. I have too many craft things on my desk right now. And I'm not going to fuzz this even though it's pretty new because you, you would fuzz on fabric something like this or a, a tacky towel, but this is fabric. <laughs> so no reason to fuzz on fabric before you use this stencil on fabric. And if you've never used these stencils from Magnolia, they are awesome, you guys. They are adhesive, they have a little stretch to them, they're reusable many, 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 many times, and mushrooms are in. Let's see, is that the one? Yeah, let's do this one. Okay, so what I'm gonna do to create sort of a swirly do effect is I'm just gonna take two colors. I'm gonna take my uh, magnolia green and my pumpkin. And these are inks, which is what you need for fabric. 
And I'm gonna just use one of these little stir sticks, pick up a little bit of this green, and I'm just kind of popping it here and there. And then let's get some of this pumpkin, which is such a yummy color. Love this stuff. I'm gonna show you my little technique that I call swirly do <laughs> because you're just doing swirls. It's it's great if you're a messy crafter. Um, it's just a great technique. And I'm gonna use a small squeegee, but we're also gonna use one of the newly improved um, paintbrush squeegees that Magnolia just released today. This one, oh my gosh, I love it. It is awesome, especially when you have like not a lot of room. Okay, so this is what it looks like right now. And I'm just gonna kind of go woo like that. I want to get the mixture of colors, but I don't really want my colors to mix. Oh shoot, I went outside, darn. When I start talking, then I have a hard time concentrating. <laughs> so let me just, can you see how I'm just kind of swirling it around? And every so often you're gonna want to clean your squeegee off before it gets all the colors all mixed up on it. So I'm just gonna take it and wipe it off on this paper towel and then keep going. And I'll come back in here in just a second with my um, paintbrush squeegee. And we will fill in some of the areas that are close to the edge. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one, which I love, and you guys have been asking me for a while, where did the paintbrush squeegees go? Well, they, they disappeared for a little while because they were being redesigned. And um, they're back now, and they're awesome. I love this one in particular. Just gonna pick up the big blobs. And I'm gonna ignore this spot where I went slightly outside. Just get this rocked off. So this is what it looks like. And this is the result. Isn't that sort of um, like 1970-ish, sort of, I don't know, psychedelic or groovy or something. Uh, these, this stencil is called Funky Mushrooms, and it is kind of funky. So that is how I got started on some of these. I did just a solid color of those three choices that I just showed you. Um, which were mango mojito, pumpkin, and magnolia green. So I'll show you what I've got. I used um, the same inks and this stencil to create my flags, which I'm going to show you those. These are my flags. So see, this craft project really except for the little bit you're going to spend on maybe half a yard if even that of canvas deck and a use of your stencil and a teeny bit of ink some jute it's practically free so what my plan is is to glue these like this so that the um, cord can slide all right so I know someone's going to ask, do I have a pattern? No, I do not. 
because I don't know how to make a pattern. I'm not good with technology and that kind of thing. So I did my typical thing. I made myself a pattern of basically what I wanted on a piece of computer printer paper. And my dimensions are, these little flags are, I'll take a picture of this, four and three quarters inches wide. From the top to this upper little point here is six inches. And then from the top down to the end of this little point is eight inches. So I'll get a picture of that. Um, you can do basically any flag shape that you that you want. Okay, I have a bunch of things ready to go so that we can jump in and have fun. Let me move this. Ooh. Let me move this one because it's wet. Let's set it right there. Okay. All right, so this is what I have. Oh, and we're going to use some, some stuffing, some polyfill too. All right, so my idea was to do my magnolia green one in the center, and then these are two different colors. This is mango mojito, this is pumpkin. And then I'm gonna do these ones next. I did these before I came live, and I just cut them out, you know, using, they're not perfect, but like, I don't know. Let's see how big that is. In some places, it's almost a half an inch kind of wide around it. And um, so I'm going to kind of alternate back and forth. And I do want to measure from the top of this, because I'm going to show you how I'm going to glue it on um, to the next one so I can have that be even. Okay, let's say we're going to do roughly 12 inches spacing. And I'm just laying my little jute inside of my mushroom to start out. I don't want everything slip sliding around. Whoops, I don't want to shut that yet because I'm going to stuff it. Let that dry for just a second. So that was about 12 inches from the tip of this one to the tip of this one. This is kind of a messy craft. You're going to have strings everywhere. Okay, then I'm going to start gluing. And we're going to leave part of this open so that we can stuff it from below. So I just glued the jute to um, the back top of my mushroom. And now I'm gluing the edges. And I'm using, in case you're wondering, my Sherbonder Cool Shot mini hot gluing device. It's under $10. I love this thing. I just personally, I refuse to get another glue burn. I have had way too many crafters hot glue burns, and I'm not putting myself in that position anymore. So I almost never use a hot, hot gluing device. I always use a low temperature one. And really, you don't need to use a hot. This is good glue, and it's no less uh, permanent than using hot, hot glue. Okay, let me grab my polyfill, and I'll show you what I have. This is my favorite polyfill, which in my supply list, if you watch. Um, okay, somebody's just asking me, no captions. Kathy, the captions come on automatically. I have that all set up after the video is no longer live. So if you will watch a replay, you'll be able to see the captions. It's not on live Facebook doesn't have that capability, I guess, of uh, putting the um, closed captions on videos while the person is still live doing it. And if you're watching right now, I'm like, okay, this is what I love. It's from Walmart. It's called Polyfill Crafters. 
choice dry polyester packing fiber fill. It's 20 ounces. And um, it says it's ideal for doll making. What I like about this stuff is that it's stiff, if that's a word you can use to describe polyfill. So, um, I don't know, it seems like you have to use less of it, and it, um, it holds its shape better, if you ask me. So I'm just gonna, I only glued part of this top part of this mushroom, and I'm gonna stuff it, and then we'll glue a little bit further down, and then we'll stuff the stem. I have too many things on my desk. So many that you probably can't even see what I'm doing. So let's keep closing this up. All right, and I just got glue on my fingers, but you didn't hear me crying or screaming because I was using low temperature. It seriously makes a big difference. And I don't have any deals with Sure Bonder. I have no reason to promote this kind of a hot gluing gun. They have full size too. I just like the mini, they're easier to handle. Except that I don't want you to have hot glue burns. Um, I would love to represent them <laughs> if you know someone because I use my my glue bin, my low temperature sure bonder cool shot like every day and I love it. Okay so I just glued a little bit further down and I'm going to stuff the stem and poke that up there. So I'm going to, if you're watching live, on August 23rd, 2023, Wednesday, if you're watching live, um, I am going to be live three times today. I have so much to show you that I'm excited about. Um, so be looking for me later a couple more times. Okay, let's glue this one shut. And if you're one of those people that is tired of stuffies, because this is a stuffy type banner, then just scroll along, keep scrolling. I don't do stuffies every day. I do do them pretty regularly though because I love them. Okay, so look, oh, I oh, thought maybe I put it on backwards. Look how cute this is looking already. Just like this, I may end up tacking down the mid, these little guys eventually. Okay, so I would put this one on the other side of this. We're going to keep going. Uh, I may not finish this whole thing while I'm live, though, because I don't want you to have to wait. And this is just a little bit time-consuming. So here's another flag. I'm just alternating mushroom flag, mushroom flag. It's seriously going to be so cute. Okay, and I think I'll do one of these, one of these guys over here. I think I'll do this one. Um, so I want to measure what was the top of this one over to here, and I believe it was around 12 inches. What do you guys think so far? I know it's a little hard to see because uh, 
I just have so many things going on. Okay, let's quick glue this puppy together. Stuff that. my fan on because my camera lights are hot. I make it very hot here in my craft room. Okay, I see a spot that I did not get glued down very well. Can I fix that? So if you're liking this video, or mushrooms, <laughs> um, feel free to sprinkle, feel free to ask questions. Let me know if you want my supply list. At the end, I'll tell you all the colors of everything. and Where I got this, uh, where I got, what kind of polyfill I like, where I got it, all that jazz. Feel like crafting is a little bit like cooking and I know that when I'm watching a cooking show it is aggravating when I can't find the recipe after because say I want to make what they made and I don't have a recipe so that's why I always create a supply list this is gonna tell you you know everything where in Walmart do you find this stuff? Um, I just want to make the crafts that I'm doing here super easy if you want to recreate them or do them your own style, uh, that kind of thing. Okay, that must be too much. Glue our little opening closed, and then I'll show you what we've got going on here so far. I think I am going to glue these flags down. Let me do that first real quick. Just a little smidge here so that they don't slide all over the place. Just going to poke a teeny bit of glue inside. One little bit. This will be easier. So this is the very center piece. And what you're seeing, the repeat on this side, it will essentially be the same on completely on the other side. And I may come back and add some strips of torn. Uh, canvas duck in between or something else I'm not sure but what do you think isn't that pretty cute and doesn't it remind you of the 1970s tell me in the comments if you or your parents whoever you live with had any of the avocado or mustardy yellow um, appliances in their kitchen or any mushroom decor because that was big in the late 60s early 70s um, you know another trip trend that I noticed coming is owls and my mother had a big owl collection too uh, oh Susie says these are her favorite colors yay I'm so glad 
So I'm going to finish this off camera and then I will get pictures of it hanging on my mantle. Uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to let me know. Feel free, excuse me for just a second. Feel free to sprinkle. Let me know if you want my supply list or my recipe. Um, and so coming back again, I'm going to show you everything that just released from Magnolia Design Company today, a whole bunch of great things. We'll talk a little bit about what you could do with it. And then later in the day, we are gonna make this adorable little arrangement in this little Dollar Tree um, galvanized tin container. We'll decorate that. that. Uh, I have some more of these all ready to go, and it's going to be super cute, super, super cute. I love black and cream. So that is what we'll be doing later on today. We're using some Dollar Tree buttons, some of these little dowels. It should be really fun. Oh, and if you missed yesterday, this is what we did. These are the new mushroom shelf sitters stand up. Aren't those cute? And I did these in those 1970s colors too. Uh, I did this on a video yesterday, so I'll put a link to that video here in the comments. This is this color right here that I painted this little white thing, and I will finish up the back off camera. It is called Fern, and it's a Waverly paint from Walmart. This one was called, uh, I think it was called Pumpkin. Yeah, it's this one was Pumpkin. And then the brown was called, oh no. Um, what was the brown called? Let's see. Truffle. So, anyways, lots of fun with mushrooms, but we won't be staying on mushrooms forever. I'm just going to do one more craft involving the mushroom stuff, and then we will move on uh, to something else fun. Judith says that she had avocado appliances, um, and uh, yeah, my mom did too. Avocado and that mustardy gold color, what was that called, if anyone remembers? Let me know. And then in the bathroom, we had a pink, a bubblegum pink colored sink. And I believe the toilet was pink too. Crazy. Anyways. All right. Well, you guys have a blessed and wonderful rest of your day. And I hope you will come back either live today or on replay sometime in the future to see the other stuff I have coming up. Um, let me know if I can help you with anything. If you have questions, sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh, ask me if you would like my supply list, all that good stuff. All right. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching.